Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to the edition of Coffee with Ian. Alright, what's going on in the world today? Um, I think the biggest news in the world of uh, Farming Simulator is nothing. There's nothing new going on at the moment. Uh, right now it's all speculation as in terms, uh, in terms of like what's going on with the new DLC. Uh, people have been asking about that a lot, so it's been uh, no, 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 no news is basically what's happening so far. So that's probably the biggest thing that's happened in the farm sim land. Actually, that's not true. Uh, Landy Kid opened up his dedicated server, so now you can play with Landy Kid if you want to. That's pretty big news. Uh, he did that uh, last uh, this week, I guess it was. I think he did it sometime. I forget when, which day this week, but he did it sometime this week. So he has opened up his server. So if you'd like to play with him, you can do so now, um, should you choose to. So. Yeah, actually I got picked up all the mods the other day there and I uh, haven't jumped on the server yet because I've been busy doing some other things, but uh, I probably will do so this weekend at some point and just hop on and say hello, mess around on Coldboro a little bit. I believe he has Coldboro Extended, I think, on there. I want to say it is, so I'll have to hop on and see what it's like. I haven't played around that much to map too much. Uh, from what I understand, there are some differences, but uh, the, core, the core map itself is the same, so... Uh, the other big news, I suppose, is I uh, messed around on Baxley Farm, which is an American Eagle modding uh, map, which came out uh, a while ago, actually. Uh, but I just decided to go on to it the other day. And there goes my phone. Uh, the other day there. So I uh, finally got a chance to record on that. And it uh, seems like people want me to play on that map. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it replace Black, uh, Black Rock Valley. Uh, and the only reason is because recording, like, I like the map a lot, actually. But the problem is recording on Black Rock Valley doesn't work so well uh, because it drops the FPS often. And uh, in order to give you guys like the best video as possible sort of thing, I'm gonna just like stop. I have a whole bunch of episodes recorded already, but I'm gonna stop and just move, I think, over to Baxley just because I don't want to uh, keep running. Because what will happen is if I keep recording on, on uh, Black Rock Valley, I'll keep mentioning the FPS all the time. Uh, because it's really annoying because you'll be playing and then you'll just see a huge dip in your FPS and I don't know. It'll become a reoccurring theme I don't want it to be. So I will, uh, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's really one of the main reasons why I think I'll stop on Black Rock Valley. I enjoy the map though. It's a really cool map. I do like it. So I got to try a couple of things I wanted to on that map anyway. So it's not a huge deal. So like I said, I'll probably, I have like, I don't know how many episodes recorded already. Um, I'm kind of in advance, I don't know, maybe seven episodes or something like that. So I'll stop recording uh, henceforth on that map. Not that I don't like the map, it just doesn't record well. Um, Michigan, which is the other map by Stevie as well, another really nice map. Uh, it seems that it would have the same issue though. I don't know what he puts on his maps, but in terms of rec playing on it without recording it seems to be okay for the most part. But when you're recording it, I just notice the dips a lot more. Cause it'll go from like 60 FPS a second like down to like 15 which is not cool so if I were on a server you know I would accept that a bit more on a server because on a, like dedicated servers that happens a bit more often I was talking, actually talking to Landy Kid the other day about that uh, it's much more likely to have that kind of thing on a dedicated server so I, uh, I'm i not playing a dedicated server so that's the reason I'm like hmm not digging that so what I'll do is I'll switch over probably to Baxley Farm which people seem to like I uh, just posted a video there and a couple people were like, yeah, play on this farm, play on this farm. So uh, we'll probably do that. And it's got a lot of the same things. Actually, uh, Baxley Farm was made by the same guy who made the States version 8. So it's kind of cool. Um, what else is going on? Uh, that's probably the biggest thing that's going on in terms of the channel, I suppose, or the farms and whatnot. Because I haven't seen uh, anything else that's too crazy yet. So for now, I think what I'll do, like I said, I will just uh, switch over to Baxley and uh, maybe I'll record a final episode on Black Rock Valley, but it's not because I don't like the map. Uh, the creator did a fabulous job on the map, it's just that it doesn't record well, so because of that, that's why I'm moving to something else. It's not, that's the main reason why, because I want to make sure you guys get good stuff and I don't want to complain about the FPS all the time. So, funny story, some of you can probably see it, but that right there is Maurice. And I moved him into the office uh, the other day for a live stream because uh, someone mentioned that I needed to have something on the wall. It looks uh, 
bereft of good, nice things in the wall. Anyway, so I put it on the wall the other day there, and the wife was like, we sat down and watched like a, a, a show last night, and she was like, where's Maurice? I was like, he's in the office. So she totally noticed. I didn't think she was going to notice, honestly, but she totally noticed. So I, ha I may have to replace Maurice to his, for, to his former spot and not uh, leave him there, even though I like him where he is, but I'll have to rearrange that a little bit. So anyways, uh, Steam sales have been pretty interesting. I think I mentioned this last time, but one of the interesting things that Steam's doing this time around is they're making their sales uh, the same price for the whole sale. So it's like, if it's 50% off, it's 50% off for the whole sale, which is kind of neat, actually. Uh, having said that, I really haven't found a whole lot that really uh, jumps out of me. Like a lot of the games I have my wish list um, would be nice, but I they're like one of those games where it's like, ah, I would play it, and I'm not sure how much I would play it. Like the game that interests me the most probably is Ark, but I see a lot of people not playing Ark right now, so. I think it's one of the situations where people have uh, played to their heart's content with Ark, and then they stopped. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll pick it up still. It's still on sale until December 1st, I think, which is the next couple of days. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other... I don't know if there's any chan any games you guys would like to see on the channel. I know some people have mentioned Spin Tires, but Spin Tires doesn't really interest me a whole lot. Um, so, yeah, if there's any other games you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, I'll see about uh, checking them out. Uh, if you say Grand Theft Auto or Black Ops, that's not going to happen because it's not really the games I'm used to playing at all. Although I do, ha I have played them in the past, just not normally. So, yeah, if you suggest like an interesting game I just haven't heard of, maybe, maybe. Uh, there's lots of games out there, but uh, there's really no games that kind of fall into the same category as farming that are interesting. Like, no, not really. I have a couple, like I have Farming World, for example, but that's not... Um, it's a very different game uh, than Farming Simulator, so um, yeah, I don't know if there's any other crazy games out there uh, that I've seen that really interest me at this point in time. Fallout 4 looked cool, but I don't want to spend $80 on that because that's expensive. It's $80 Canadian, so um, just to put it in perspective, but there is a pretty cool, if you like, if you guys like racing games actually, there's actually a pretty cool um, racing simulation, a racing game, Humble Bundle out with Codemasters, which is the guys, guys who make um, uh, Dirt Rally, and they also make Dirt 3, Dirt 2, uh, they also make Grid, so they actually make quite a few different games, and there's actually a Humble Bundle on right now, so you can get like uh, Dirt 3 and quite a few other games uh, at the moment, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I was looking at Dirt Rally a while back, actually, I know uh, Taff and Exile, and I think Silver, I can't remember, I think it was Taff for sure, though, they were saying you should check it out. But uh, I never picked it up. Uh, although it is, it is on sale right now, but I think it's only 25% off, something like that. I try not to uh, buy too many games unless they're like 60 to 75% off, because that's usually the sweet spot for when that's the maximum they'll usually go off. Or that will be the maximum that they uh, will take off the game. So, yeah. I don't know. But uh, anything else I want to mention? Hmm. I do have a little bit more time coming up in the Christmas Christmas time, so I may be uh, streaming a bit more. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, the way it works for Christmas is like my wife it goes Whoosh, and she has lots of work, and then my work kind of slows down. It's kind of funny. So like I have more time off, and she has less time off. So it, ideally, we would have the equal amount of time, but it doesn't work that way. So yeah. Um, anything else? Thank you, Randy, for letting us play on your server. Much appreciated, sir. I mean, if I had my hat, I would tip it to you, but we'll do that instead. Yeah, because he let us play on his server the other day there. Uh, we did the Thanksgiving Day live stream, which is pretty cool. Uh, he let us play on his server, which is um, awesome. So thank you again. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for me for today, folks. Uh, until next time, my name's Ian Robson, and enjoy yourself. Enjoy the coffee. Actually, I can't say enjoy the coffee. That's actually from a different, uh, one of the podcasts I listen to is called uh, Marketing Over Coffee. And they always say enjoy the coffee. So my name is Ian Robson. This has been our Coffee with Ian. And if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys later. One last sip of coffee. All right, later guys.